Hi loves, it's me, Cherie of My Daily Threads, here to do the quick tutorial I promised on my extreme bell bottom pants. Today you'll notice that I am using the quarter inch scale for the demonstration just because it's quick and easy. I can do it all in one screenshot and we can get through it really quickly so you can hurry up and go out and make your own pair of the extreme bell bottoms. I had really great feedback and really great response from those pants and tons of people saying please 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 do a tutorial so guess what here I am. I'm going to make it easy. Instead of walking you through the entire process, I thought why not do really, really quickly what I did, which was take my Nina Ramel flare pants pattern and turn it into my extreme bell bottom pattern. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to give you three options. You can use your skinny jeans pants pattern. You can use a flare leg pattern or you can use a straight legs pattern. Any one of these will work and it'll be really really quick I promise so let's go ahead and get down to what you're gonna need just a few things what you see here on the table that's all you're gonna need so you see I have my three pants patterns I'm gonna sit these two to the side we'll start with the flare leg you're gonna need a clear ruler as you can see mine has lots of little markings on it because I'm always marking on uh, my patterns with marker and pens you'll need your paper scissors a pencil pen if you choose um, it's up to you pencil or pen and your French curve just to kind of smooth out your lines and some paper and a little bit of tape I don't want to use my clear tape because you won't be able to see it so I'm just going to use this little blue tape right here okay so let's go ahead and get started so we have your front pair of uh, pants and your back pants pattern okay so what we're going to do is you're going to mark where your knee is on your flare leg pattern. Now, on your actual pattern, usually it'll always have the knee line. Okay, it'll have the crotch line, the, the hip line, and then it'll have the knee line and your hem line and your waistline, of course. So, what you want to do is just on where from where your knee line is, you're going to take a ruler and you're going to draw a line right down the middle, okay, with your pencil or your pen. And you're going to take that line all the way down to the hemline. Okay, and you're going to do that on the front and on the back. So this is my front pattern, and that's the back. And I square my lines off. Okay, so you can see that really good, right? All right, once you do that, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut on that line. Okay. Now you're not going to cut through, you're just going to cut two. Then you're going to take and go on the line, turn your pattern around, and go all the way to the edge, but don't disconnect it. Okay, don't disconnect it. Kind of like your slash and spread method, but I'm not doing the exact same thing. All right, so it's, it's a little different with this one. I found this to turn out really great for me when I did mine, and so I'm just going to stick to it. All right, so... What you're going to do then is you're going to take your little pieces, okay? You're just going to spread them out to what you would like your flare to look like. All right, move that over a little bit so you can see there. All right, so as you can see, and you can go out. Now, a lot of times I've ha actually shared some of this with a few people. Um... And I'll go over a few of the questions once we get it cut out to address those things that were of concern. So you want to do the same thing on your front. And again, make sure that you just kind of have the little piece hanging there. You don't want to disconnect it from the pattern. If you did and you cut too far, it's not a big deal. You have some clear tape, you can go ahead and fix that. Okay. I've, I've cut through a couple of times with my um, slash and spread when I'm doing tops. So it, no worries. Tape fixes almost anything. All right. So you want to spread it apart. So what you do want to do is what I do too is I always measure how much from... The knee line did I come down. All right, so however much I came down, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to grab this little piece of paper as my background here because I'm using black only because I wanted 
it to show up really well okay so well that didn't help back to black sorry guys all right so what you're going to do is spread it out okay but you want to make sure that one your two lines are spread out the same and those two points are right at the same part okay you also want to measure how far you spread it apart and the reason why I'm telling you to do this is because when you tape it down, you want to have that and make sure you do the exact same thing to the front. So however much you spread it apart here, you should do it here on the front as well. Okay? All right. So that's basically what you want to do. Okay? So then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and tape it down. So I'm going to see how far down I came from here. Okay. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to make sure that I do the same here. There we go. All right. So that would be the same distance down from the knee line where the points are meeting. And then I should have the same in between here and here as well um if you don't you can just adjust it a little bit right you just want to make sure that now on your back pounds pattern it will probably be a little bit wider than your front and i only say that because most of your pants right if you notice the back comes out and it kind of meets and you have to sew them so that they meet um, so this is basically what you're going to do and you're going to do that to each and every one of your pattern pieces all right so once you do that you're going to get your paper that you um, your construction paper or your drafting paper whichever one and you're just going to tape it down just to make sure that it doesn't move okay so I'm gonna use this blue tape just so you can see me taping it down and you just want to make sure that it's not gonna move and that you've got a good line there all right now as you can see my curve is really really good okay it's it's really um doing really really well there oh yeah look at that it's meeting right in there so the only thing i would probably have to do is just that teeny little piece right there and i'm gonna zoom in so you can see that so it's really really oh man it's so minuscule what a great little flare all right and do the same here and see where i'm meeting here oh man i think that one's on the money i think i don't even need any right there on that one looks really really good all right so you're going to tape it down you're going to do the same to your front piece making sure that i measured and Okay, then I'm going to grab my little tape right there, and I'm going to tape that down. And before I lift up on this side, I am going to tape that down. Alright, then I'm going to move it so that I know it's secure, it's not going to move. And I'll go ahead again and I'll check to see, do I need to smooth this out on the front a little bit? Uh, just a tad bit. Then I'm going to do the same thing here, a little more right there, just to kind of smooth it out to a smooth transition, okay? And that's pretty much what you're going to do to each and every pair. So that's your flare leg, really, really simple, got it out the way. Now we have our skinny jeans, same thing here. Okay, you see my line here at the knee and you see my, my line squaring down from there. And I'm going to cut here. All right, and almost made a boo boo there. Okay, now this is my skinny jean. I just found this to be easier than the slash and spread because with the slash and spread, your pattern 
you're slashing up to this line then you're trying to spread it out and it's going to be crinkled up and then you got to try and fix it this is just so easy easy peasy trust me it's so easy all right and guess what this is your skinny jean as you can see guess what i've created that flare right there okay now say you have your flare your um bell that you make here with your skinny jeans and you're like oh it's good but i still want to go further but i don't want to distort the pattern that much what you do is you go ahead spread it out okay make sure that they're the points are matching there all right and you say oh i don't want to distort it that's a pretty big bell but if you want to go big what you can do is go ahead and tape this out trace it out split your bell that you have and spread it out a little bit more does, does that make sense so if you this was already your bell pattern you can tape it onto your big plotter paper and trace out the pants with the bell okay and then you would do the same line at the knee draw it cut it both ways and spread it out a little bit more and then you can get that smoothness that you're looking for so this is with your um skinny jean pattern and as you can see it's the same as with the with the extreme flare so this is the extreme flare okay um, the extreme bell bottom is from the flare pants oh got a little tongue tied with the flare all right and as you can see here, this is why I'm doing a black background, so it's just easier for the white paper to show up. Here's your skinny. And so you have the same thing. You go ahead and tape it down on your paper, trace it out, and get your pattern going, okay? Move that to the side. And here is your straight leg. Now, the only thing with your straight leg pant is you have to see, does this straight leg fit your thigh hip and behind area the way you would want your bell bottoms to fit if not then you need to go ahead and kind of taper that in a little bit cut away taper in kind of fit so there might be a little bit more fit going on with a straight leg pants than you would with your fit and flare and your skinny jean because those are pretty much fitting the way you want most fit and flares are fitting then they kind of flare out just a little bit they're not a bell bottom they're just a flare just a little bit but they fit in the hip they fit great in the thigh and the behind area so you really don't have to do a whole lot to the skinny and the uh, fit and flare they're pretty much ready to go with just that easy little step with your straight leg pant it depends on how well again it fits in the hip and around the crotch area and the seam in your behind area and more importantly in the thigh meeting down to the knee okay so if you need to make those adjustments or say you already have a pattern like this that fits you fabulously like that then great you'll go ahead and you do your lines the same way you would cut here and then just do the spread okay now with your straight leg it's like i said once you spread it out this is probably the one where i would definitely do a trace job and um, begin to build on that um, you would also need to definitely use your french curve you're definitely going to have to do some correcting there to kind of get that smoother transition you may even if you know how it fits you've tried them on you know you may even want to go in with your french curve and begin to kind of uh, get some of that out of there okay and then kind of work your way around down like that so again it just depends on the fit of your straight leg okay my suggestion definitely is the skinny and the fit and flare are are really perfect to start with because you have to do very very little work after that all right so definitely want to kind of go with your fit and flare and your skinny they just really work really well um there's very little transition that needs to take place i'm going to peel that off um and very little work that you have to do after that it's just a really quick pattern hack and again i used my nina Ramel, my fitted uh, fit and flare pants pattern that i have strictly for myself that um i perfected to fit me the way i want it to fit 
me and so I went from my fit and flare which was this here um, so just a small little flare there as you can see but the areas in the thigh gets a little tighter around here on the knee and fit perfectly in the butt in the waist and so it just was just a simple transition to get that flare and as you can see that curve is just really perfect there's very little correction that I had to do the same thing with the skinny uh, very little correcting that you're going to have to do um, you may just have to take your French curve and go in there a little bit um, you can also easily like I said just go ahead and and tape it down to your paper and then trace it out and then build on that split your flare that you do your flare that you created and make it more extreme so you can definitely do that by building on the skinny pants so as I said it was gonna be quick and easy guess what that's it we're done nothing else to it a lot of people say well when you I'll answer this one question when you flare it out and you split it and you go this way do you have to add more hem to your side no because when you cut your pants and your fabric falls with your stretch denim remember you want to use stretch denim definitely I do suggest stretch denim um, or a pattern that allows for a stretch denim and so um, no you don't because when you actually put your pants on guess what it's gonna fall like that your your flare is gonna fall and your bell bottom is gonna relax and it's gonna even out everything will be great if you want to you can go ahead and whatever you drop down from here you can add it to the side and then just kind of merge out and let me show you what I'm talking about you won't need to do this but if you're just a little scared no worries go ahead and do it you're gonna end up probably cutting it away but have at it all right, so whatever you measured here, say it's a quarter of an inch, okay? All right, so then you can come out here, quarter of an inch, and just measure down at the edge of your thing there. All right, so you know that's where it is. Draw your line, meeting up with your side seam. All right, and then I would just suggest merging um, this I would suggest merging this line kind of over here till it goes away to nothing. Okay. So that that's what you can do. But I guarantee you, when you cut your fabric and you put your pants on, you're going to end up cutting this away more often than not. Okay, unless you just spread it so far. But again, it's just going to fall and it's going to be right in place everything's going to be perfect you do not have to do this but a couple of people are like well i think i'm just going to do it anyway have at it not a problem because you can always correct your hem and cut it away i guarantee you you're going to be correcting your hem and you're going to be cutting it away so you really don't need this little extension right here you know you don't need it um the way you spread it out and the way you cut it here is going to be fine your hem is going to be fine fine all right so loves that is it really quickly no problems right quick and easy really simple go ahead give it a try and let me know how everything turns out for you and please tag me in your pictures on social media i love seeing when you guys try my tutorials it's really a lot of fun and really great and you guys are so awesome thank you for your support and i will check you out next time bye everybody